the universe that we live in, the world on which we live, was not made by God. In order for God to exist, God had to have a beginning. That's important. In order for God to be real, in order for God to exist, God had to evolve. God came back in time to save the world on which they evolved. God brought some of their children with them. If God did not make this world, if God did not make the universe, if man evolved independently of a creator, that means certain things. It implies that most humans are not born with a soul. It means that most humans are not born with free will. It means that most people are not born with a purpose in their life. And it also means that most people will not survive death. God wants to ask every human a simple question. Seeing that you're born without a soul. Would you like to know how to create the epiphenomenon of soul? And to have your personality attached to that soul so that when you die, you are still alive. How do you begin the process of creating the epiphenomenon of soul? How do you begin the process of surviving death with your personality intact. Humans are in the same boat where God began. When God first existed as a human, He was in the same boat as everyone else, but He survived death with personality intact. How did that happen? Well, if you read the Third Endowment, you find out how it happened. God studied the process and then came back in time to offer the process to the very same world that he began on. That's important. You're not born with a meaning. You're not born with a purpose. You are a clean slate. If God could show you a way to create profound meaning in your life, if God could show you a way to create the epiphenomenon of soul so that your personality could survive death intact, would this be something you would want? It's all right to say no. Keep that in mind. It's all right to say no. There is no condemnation for refusing Anything that God offers you. Do you want to create the epiphenomenon of soul? Do you want to survive death with your personality intact? Would you like free agency? Do you want your life to have meaning and purpose beyond this life? Do you want that? If the answers are yes, I encourage you to get the Song of God and read it and study it for the rest of your life. You are meant for God. You are destined for God, but the choice is yours.